Wonder why the R-A-E in Cabaret is capitalized? It stands for Random Acts of Entertainment. But there is nothing random about this production, which took years of planning and cost millions of dollars to create. We think it's a great place to take a date or celebrate a special occasion. My name is Wanda Azario Goldberg. I am the artistic director here at this amazing show called Cabaret at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And I'm also half of the Skating Willers, which is an acrobatic roller skating act that we do, which is about a nine minute act, which is, involves me being picked up and spun around. I ran away with the circus when I was a child. I had a big fascination with large animals, big cats. The only way that I could fulfill my needs uh, of wanting to be around the big cats was to become a, a groom, basically a keeper for somebody else to take care of their animals. This is what I always wanted to do. Uh, as, as I progressed in my career, I finally got an opportunity to start putting an act together. It grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until which point it was the largest wild animal act in the world. Um, at this point here, it was 21 lions and tigers in the cage, which nobody else basically had done before. Then it progressed to this part of my life, which was 18 white tigers. And those were the white tigers that I took to Europe and was in Europe for 10 years and during that time met Wanda. My name is Alan Goldberg, um, not to be confused with this guy who was Alan Gold. I'm now Alan Goldberg. I was performing on a German circus doing these numbers, Wanda was roller skating. We like to say it was love at first spin because basically they saw me in the audience, they chose me to come up on stage as part of their act, which is what they also do here, Wanda and Jean-Pierre. My name is Jean-Pierre Poissonnet, which is a very French name. My father was French, my mother was English. Um, I am a acrobatic roller skating performer that sings at the same time on a tabletop, basically, which is six feet in diameter. Well, I was born on to, in a, into a family circus in England. It was a very large circus, 5,000 seat a big top. Uh, my father, who was a French roller skater, who came over in 1958 to England to do a season on Billy Smart Circus. So he met and married the granddaughter of Billy Smart. Hence, he stayed with that show, and that's where I was born. The original Willers uh, started in the early 50s, and there were two, two men thinking, ah, how can we, uh, they were both French, one was named Poissonnet, like my family name, and the other one was Petillon. And they thought, well, that doesn't sound very exciting and not very good stage name. Ah, then they thought, they'd had a couple of glasses of wine at the time, you can imagine two Frenchmen, and they thought, ah, roux, roux means wheel, ah, we call, wheel, wheel, ah, the, we wheelers, wheelers. So they thought, but what they did was, they phonetically spelt wheelers in French. So W-I-L-L-E-R-S. For a Frenchman is wheelers. For us, it's willers. I just got my BA in jewellery design and I was working in a really lovely uh, kind of cabaret kind of place where an original skating willers act was working, which was Jean-Pierre, his brother, and their first partner. And I saw Jean-Pierre and his brother working on stage and I wondered what on earth they were doing. But then I invited her to come and see the show and she fell in love with it. And, and, quite, and I was quite happy at the time because she fell in love with me. His family show, which is, was at the time the biggest touring circus in Europe, which is called Billy Smart Circus. And basically from there, I just got sawdust in my veins and fell in love with him, but I fell in love with show business more joined the act and the rest, as they say, is history. His father walked up to me and said, basically, if you're going to be hanging around here all the time, here's a pair of skates, go and work. So I did. And we were married for 15 years. We had a beautiful son together. We, had, we traveled around the world, had a marvelous time. And then, as couples do, we fell out of love. But we still loved what we were doing in the skating act. So. We decided to carry on working together and it was good for our son that we were together. In touch with each other for all those years until finally a time in our life came where we were both available to each other. We got together, Wanda came here to Hawaii, 
fell in love with Hawaii, we fell in love with each other, hence Cabaret. In its infancy, Cabaret for me was a way to have my wife retire from entertainment in the place that she loves to live so that everybody around her knows and remembers what she did as a star of this show. So we set about to bring Cabaret to life, uh, our dream and, and work of five years. The family connection is so important for this show. Uh, the first person we basically got here was my partner, my ex-husband, Jean-Pierre. Because it was like, you ha if you're going to have this kind of show, you've got to have a character that's bigger than life, and he is that. This kind of show is family. Even all the people that work in this show, I, I treat like they're part of my family. I know it sounds really trite and really contrived and all that stuff, but it's true. You've got to be nice people. That's the most important thing. They've got to be like, they've got to have that connection with the public when they're on stage. I also decided to have the Azario sisters. They do a marvelous, marvelous hand-to-hand uh, -hand balancing act. And they are my sisters, my twin sisters' daughters. They won the Silver Clown at the Monte Carlo Circus Festival. They are kind of circus royalty. They're very famous in the circus world. And what they do on the center stage and on the oval stage is amazing. Nobody else does that precise trick anywhere else in the world. It's probably one of the most difficult tricks you'll ever see in the variety business. Then my son is coming. He does a skating act as well, like his father and mother. Uh, Wanda and I have never really stopped working. We officially retired in London uh, two years ago. But in the, in the meantime, this was an ongoing project that Wanda and Alan were trying to get off the ground here in Hawaii. But now this is the fruition of the whole thing. So I was aware of it always. And Wanda and I had been uh, going away to do, for example, our last gig before we came here was in the Sydney Opera House. Uh, we were there for two months. Uh, with a show called La Soiree. We'd always have gaps in between. We'd get back together, train again for about two weeks, and then sort of resurrect the skating wheelers once again. My father introduced me to scuba diving when I was about 11 years old. And uh, it stayed with me through all the things I've done in my life, which have been skydiving, hang gliding, paragliding. When I finally got the opportunity to retire from performing, I put away my whips, which I still have, and at that time I had four kids, brought them all with us. We went to Maui, uh, lived up country, became a diving instructor, and lived my dream. I got a call directly from one of the owners of Surf du and that call was, we're putting a new show together. It's going to be at a new hotel that hasn't been constructed yet, called the Bellagio. Would you like to come and be part of that show? And I said, I've always been an animal trainer to these guys. They love my work. Right? They, they definitely loved my work, but there was never any place for animals to be in Cirque du Soleil. No, this isn't a show that you've ever thought about. I said, what do you mean? This is a, an aquatic show. And I went, well, that's really different. Now, that does fit into my life. Being that I was probably at that time the only ex-performing circus artist that was also an underwater expert, it all went, went like this for me. But as Cirque du Soleil grew, got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, the feeling that you had within this company got smaller and smaller. That was the time where I needed to reach out and look for something else in my life to do. I wound up coming back to Hawaii. We couldn't afford to buy property here, so we decided that we would live on a boat. We ran a, a fishing and diving charter here in, in on Oahu. It was called Center Ring Diving and Best Fishing Hawaii. By the way, we still hold the record for the largest marlin caught in Kualo Basin. That's what carried us through for four years. We came up with the concept of Cabaret, and Wanda and I spent the next five years trying to secure financing, secure investors, doing whatever we could in order to make our dream come true. This show is our heart and soul. Every, every act that we bring here is hand-picked to work in the environment of being this close to the audience. By, by performing here in the round, the audience becomes, in, they become involved in the whole process and the whole journey of the show. 
Conceptually, this show will be changing. It could be every two weeks, it could be every two months. It all depends. It's very fluid. There's nothing is set in concrete. It's always fresh. The show is always vibrant and new. Like, it's going to be great for the local public because they'll always be coming to see a different show. We have the best acts in the world coming to work here, so we're really lucky. The experience here in Cabaret in Hawaii has been amazing. Um, we've worked in many shows around the world. The warmth of the Hawaiian public is amazing. We've worked right up to the capacity of 350 and it's always been terrific. And it makes you give more to what you're doing. I've, I've got a, a long history of being in art. I, I love anything to do with performance art or actual sculpture, anything three-dimensional. About four or five years ago when we came up with the, the concept of what we wanted to do uh, initially, I put down on a really nice little rendering how I wanted, how I imagined the show was to look. And if you come into this show now and you walk through that door and you just turn and look, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm so proud of the way it's turned out. This is, this is my dream come to life. It's exactly what I wanted. Later in the show, we'll introduce you to more cast members in Cabaret. So stick around. <laughs>